All right, today I have another mini coaching session for you where I sat down with a small business owner to talk about all the ways we can improve their website. And what we found is very likely to apply to your site as well. Today we're gonna to go over when a one-page website might be a good idea, establishing trust, how to best display pricing, and a whole lot more, so stick around. If you wanna transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. All right, I've got Jimmy Arden here today from Autoville in uh, in California, my old home. How's it going, Jimmy? Pretty good. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, let's just get right into it and ask. Let me ask what exactly it is that you do. Um, so, I own an auto uh, detailing business. Um, we're mobile only. Okay. Um, we service the San Fernando Valley, which is the northern part of Los Angeles. I know it well. <laughs> cool. And who? Who are your clients? Who do you do this for? Um, so I do this for pretty much anyone, any car, that any person that calls me. Okay. Just because I remember when I lived there, um, ju I just want to get a sense of who your clients are so we can kind of know what we're doing here. I remember mm -hmm. living there. There's a car wash in every corner. So yeah. why why go with a mobile car wash? Like, Are these really so, busy people? Is that... So majority of the people that call me, um, a lot of them don't like going to the car wash. So they, they usually call me or I do a lot of people that are actually really busy. Um, so I arrive to their house and they just leave me the keys and the money and I just take care of their car. And then that's pretty much it. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I would say majority of people just don't like going to the car wash or yeah. they don't have time to go to the car wash. Yeah. I remember those days. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what is the major problem I can help you out with today? So it's two things. So the first one would be to just take a look at my website and see how I can improve my SEO. Um, cause one of the biggest problems I have is ranking on Google, uh, on Google and on Google maps as well. Um, since I don't have an address to list on there, I feel like customers aren't really finding me at all. Because I do a lot yeah. of searches, like let's say I'll put in car wash or I'll put in auto detailing. I don't come out at all. Uh, or if yeah. I put in what I fit, what I found was that they're searching for car wash near me or mobile detailer near me. And I don't come out at all. And I think it's because I don't have an address to list since I'm mobile only. Yeah. So let's talk about that for a second. A lot of one of my biggest videos is all about Google My Business and everyone has the same mm -hmm. question, which is about that service area. So. Yeah. I'll try to break it down as simply as possible. Um, if you don't, Google gives you the opportunity to put your address or not. Uh, unfortunately, if you don't put your address, your chances go way down of ever ranking. Um, there are certain categories of businesses that they've kind of identified where address is not important. Think plumbers, electricians, people who are always traveling out to you. Car washes are probably not in that category. Um, while there are mobile car washes like you, most car washes, as we know them, are a building that you have to go to, right? Yeah. So for that, per for that reason, I think you're going to have a hard time ranking in Google My Business. Um, there is something you can do. It's, it's kind of a newer thing that Google has done, which is our uh, Google local ads. So basically, you pay to be right at the top of, that, of those listings. Um, unfortunately you're a little bit at their discretion of when they're going to show them. They usually won't show up in the three pack, but they usually will show up at the very top. When you push that, uh, see more listings button right under the three pack, then you'll see a list of 10 and you could be right at the top. You just have to pay for that placement. Have you heard of okay. that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I kind of figured that maybe doing Google ads is probably the best way to go. Yeah, it can be. Um, and another thing, you know, in your, in your case, things like Yelp, people are probably looking things up. Oh, oh, the other thing too, I think the reason why those Google, uh, business listing, sorry, the, the paid Google, my business listings would be advantageous for you is because, uh, when people are probably searching for a car wash, they're probably in their Google maps thing on their phone rather than, um, on a browser. And you will show up in the Google in the Google Maps app that way. So okay, yeah, set up a Google ad, and then you have to check location extension enabled. 
in order okay. to turn that on. So that's what I would do there. It's probably okay. going to be a good source of, of revenue and of traffic for you. So mm-hmm. beyond that, let's talk about once we get people to the site. Let's, let's get your website up here. Do you want some? Want to talk about your website a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, I've spent maybe, I want to say, a, I, I've spent a lot of time on my homepage. Um, mm-hmm. I did watch some of your videos on on the homepages, and I kind of switched it around because before it was just a big giant logo on yeah. the front page and so i took that out and i put something uh, i put in we know your time is precious just to have some kind of emotional connection to whoever's looking at it yep. um so i just put that instead i thought that was better i also added the chat the chat box on there um because yeah. it, it really does make sense having that because a lot of people that go onto my website um have questions maybe have questions about my services Mm-hmm. So they can just hit that box and I'll get the instant, the instant it's message right there. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So what I might do here, and I know you see, so you've got a picture of a soapy car here. So it's, it's kind of obvious that you're a car wash, but what I might do is rather, I like the sentiment here of, we know your time is precious. You're, it, it is, it's almost doing what I would want you to do. You, the other thing though, is you have to make it very clear what you do. Mobile car wash for busy people on the go. And then underneath that, in the this other text, it could be, you know, we know your time is precious, so we won't waste yours. Get your car washed while you're at work, whatever that is. But you really have to make it known that they are that you are a mobile car wash. Because right now, maybe you're just a car wash. Maybe you're an assistant kind of person mm-hmm. that just runs errands and washes yeah. cars and stuff. You have to make it really obvious. People are really yeah. checked out. So, um, And the other thing is, CTA button here. Take a look at our services. Don't like that CTA. It's really soft. You don't want people to take a look at your services. You want them to book something. So you need to tell them that. You know. Okay. I don't know about this image of a soapy car because that's not the end result. You know, that's the process of it. So I think what you want is just a really great image of like doesn't have to be an actual client, but just someone with a clean car who's stoked that they got this done while they were at work or while they were at the gym. And they've saved a bunch of time. So show me that little, okay. that happy win on their face. Okay. Yeah. You know, that's a good idea. It sounds, it sounds kind of cheesy, but there's, there's a way to do it right. We've got um, about us here. So it doesn't need to be right here. You can have it. Mm-hmm. That can have its own page. Because honestly, no one cares too much about you, unfortunately. Um, mm-hmm. You know, established in 2016, owned by Jimmy. That's great, but no one really cares. They want to know how you're going to help them. So I would keep this. I would make this another text block that's all about benefits. You know, okay. paint paint that problem. Their problem is they're busy. They, you know, they're probably working during the day. They're probably trying to be an actor by night. It's L.A. after all, waiting mm-hmm. tables, <laughs> all that stuff. So paint that picture of hey, you're busy. You don't have time to go to a car wash. That's gonna eat up an hour of your day, we'll take that off your plate. So that would be a much better use of that spot. And then I don't love this image either. Um, it, it's not very aspirational. You know, mm-hmm. it's, um, yeah. it's just kind of on a side street here. I would definitely make it look a little more glammed up, if that makes sense. Okay. It's LA. It's very... Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not bagging on LA here. I lived there for 15 years. I just know <laughs> that cars are very important in LA. You yeah, know, and, and status is really important too. So um, I would definitely make this more of a a beautiful image. Um, and if you're gonna, be, is this you? Is this your? Yeah, that's me. okay. Face the camera then. Like, if if you're gonna be in the mm-hmm. shot, it should be kind of a trust building. Like, hey, this is Jimmy. This is the guy who's gonna come over and wash wash your car. You know? Yeah, that's Makes that's sense? true. I never actually thought about that. <laughs> yeah, and then um, so we've got this contact button. So now we've got two different calls to action happening. So we've got contact us, take a look at our services. So there's a disconnect. You want one. Mm -hmm. You want to give them one action to take, and that's it. And the other thing, while I'm on the call to action, these kind of buttons were really popular a couple years ago. We called them ghost buttons because they were just uh, just outlined with no color in the middle. I kind of they're kind of cool looking. I get it, but they're the least clickable thing in the world. There's no urgency on this button. So you want to make that a color. Okay. Yeah. So it's really just in your face and people have to click it. All right. The process. 
This is awesome. I love that you have this. I always recommend that people know, lay it out all at once. This is what the process is. This is step one, step two, step three. Unfortunately, you've got a little wrong here because the process should be what they have to do to make this all happen, which is the first step is schedule something. Second step, we come over and clean your car while you're asleep or whatever it is. Third, enjoy your clean new car. So this, what, you've, what you have here is cool and that you should still have this, but that goes somewhere else. This is basically, okay. these are basically, um, you know, features, nice, nice things that you do. You, you've got, you're basically saying we have the best products. We won't scratch your car because we have the, the microfiber towels. We have great customer service. So these are more features that I would like to see you not put under process. And to take it a step further, don't stop at features. So we have deionized water. And then underneath it, you've said why that matters. You should do it the other way around. The headline should be no water spots guaranteed. And then underneath it, you say why. Quality detail, however, however you phrase that underneath, because we only use the most professional grade products. Yeah, so you don't, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Services, I like this too. Um, I think there's a way you could improve it a little bit, which is, so people are looking at this right now and they're trying to determine which they need. Okay, so between basic wash and mini detail, they're doing a calculation in their head of like, all right, uh, so we've got vacuum. We got vacuum over here, cool. Uh, windows cleaned, is that over here? Cool. What would be better is, and you don't, You've seen this a million times on a lot of websites where they've got that cool little pricing table of three different levels, basically. And each one has check marks by it. So you can see it easy at a glance if the basic wash does the, uh, the spray polish. It doesn't because it's going to have a little X mark next to it. Oh, okay. Make yeah, sense? yeah. Yeah, so I, that, I, I understand. Yeah, so people are really comparing apples to apples so they know, okay, I get all these things with mini detail and I only get these things with basic wash and it makes it easier for them to compare it. Those are the biggest things. Oh, and our testimonials. Love that you have testimonials, but again, room for improvement. You wanna make a bigger deal about these. This, this type is so small. I've never okay. seen type this small outside of a, like a copyright line on the bottom of the <laughs> footer. So make it bigger, make a big deal and see if you can, um, these are Yelp reviews. So that's a little trickier because what I would want to see you do is use an image of the person, mm -hmm. but I don't know if you can, if you know this person, if you know Jamie Yelp reviewer or Augustine Yelp reviewer, um, can you ask them, get in touch with them and say, Hey, do you mind if I use your picture? Yeah. I, yeah. I can do that. You know him. All right. Yeah. Do that. Cause a picture goes a long way towards making it seem more legitimate. If you can go a step further and get a video testimonial, even if it's just one, that's going to be great. It's going to go a long way. So going back to maybe the, should I, should I have different pages instead of how I have it right now, all in one, one page? Not necessarily. Cause, I mean, cause it, uh -huh. cause if you click like about us, it yeah, just it goes, goes down. down. Yeah. yeah. Instead of having a different page. And that's fine. You know what? This You're not selling life insurance. You're selling a car wash. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's not like you have to. People aren't really going to be pouring through the minutia of your website. They just want to get a good sense and see, ah, this is going to save me some time. And I trust this guy. That's the other thing too is trust is a little lacking here. I would love to see your picture right here just looking very friendly and trustworthy and capable. If you go to a car wash... Those guys have insurance, and if they, if someone were just to take off with their car, there's a company there that they can go after. Yeah. They, there's a lot of trust involved in just handing over some guy that comes to your house their keys, right? That's yeah, that's true. So you mm -hmm. need to mitigate that risk by really playing up the trust angle on the site. Okay. So, yeah. Um, another question I had was so f uh, for my type of uh, business, do you think it would be better to use Yelp or to focus more on Google? Because I get majority, I would say maybe 80% of my customers uh, come from Yelp. Yeah. So I feel like Yelp is, Yelp. I, maybe I should focus more on Yelp. Maybe you should. So, and, mm -hmm. you, and that's the thing, you've answered your own question by saying 80% of your customers come from there. 
Um, mm-hmm. And I, I'm trying to think because I've been. I haven't really been in the market for a car wash. I don't have a car here in Chicago. And when I lived in LA, there was a car wash on every corner. So I knew where my car wash was. So there was never that thing of me trying to look, but I'm trying to think if I were to look for a mobile car wash, if I knew that's something I wanted, yeah, I'd probably go to Yelp. I'm not an expert in Yelp. Um, I know you can pay to play there. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about that? Yeah, I've I've tried it out, but... it's it's like very expensive <laughs> how much is it if you don't mind me asking i'm just curious um i was doing around four hundred dollars a month okay um to be placed first on their on their listings we'll break that so, down how much do you get for a car wash um it, let's say it's a basic car wash uh the most basic package i have is 35 dollars okay um, but uh, a lot of yelp customers um they do like getting um details so it'd be a hundred, okay. two hundred. So, so but, you have to ask so, yourself if it's worth. Because that's the thing too. A lot of times people are really afraid of kind of paying for advertising and marketing. But if if it gets you, you know, ten times as much business, suddenly it's very worth it, right? So, um, yeah. what I might recommend you do is maybe give it a month. Um, I've done it for two weeks. Um, okay. The first time I did, then I actually did a, a month. Uh, but I didn't really see. It was just a lot of. It was because what they do on on our our business. So they they make you fill out a, a form, and then that form you can ask your questions and you put your information, and it sends it to everybody in your area. So it's I was getting a lot of that. Kind of okay. Yeah, so I was getting a lot of that instead of people actually seeing my listing and going to me and asking me uh, alone. So sure. they, they make you fill out a form and that form gets sent to all the detailers in, in the area. And it's kind of who, who answers first type of thing. Okay, got it. Well, yeah, it's, it's just a matter of testing it and seeing if it's worth it. I think the good news is, Jimmy, you're almost there. I mean, the site looks really nice. I think it's just a matter of, and it looks really slick too. And I love the color scheme. It's great. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of really fine tuning it and making it, just giving it that last little detail, no pun intended, and you're done, and you're good. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click on the circle icon right down here to subscribe. And if you're interested in getting my eyeballs on your website, I do offer a limited number of private kickstart calls where we can go over your site, talk about any problems you're having, and you can get that by clicking right up here. All right, guys, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End, and I'll see you in our next video.